Alright, the JQ is well, Hopefully, this is finally, finally but the final mission. It took me a while to beat that fucking exo zombie, whatever you call him. Nice and convenient! Did everyone get a souvenir? PTSD counts, right? It did for me. I think we pissed them off. Come on! Give me a second with this door. No, no, no! We don't have a second! Oh, shit. God, I kept them. Where? Oh no, Brad, we'll be cornered. Ah! We got supplies. No. We can make a stand here. So the next chopper can get zombie bomb? My people won't let us down. We're getting out of here. Yeah. Okay. Ah! Get off me. Let's go. Doors open. Move your asses. Go, go. What's up? 
about fucking time. me you can getting really fucking at time. Alright, I'm pissed. Oh, I'm pissed, I'm pissed, I'm so mad, I'm so mad I just finished seeing that right now. It's like fucking 2 a.m. in the morning and I just finished seeing one of my favorite characters die in this fucking game. And so this is how you guys wanted to end it. Dead Rising 4, right Capcom? You wanted to kill him off. And I think stop making the writing game because I think you knew how badly you fucked up on this game. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a season pass. I wonder what that all about. If Frank could have it his way, this is where the story would end. 
He'd die a hero, sacrificing himself for the good of his friends. You wouldn't need to follow it up to see the mess that unfolded in the months after. But Frank's not here to tell the story his way. He can't load it up with spicy embellishments. Listening to his notes, I kind of wonder how the story would have gone when he told it later. Would he have defeated Fontana in single combat? Refused to conspire with the evil Dr. Blackburn? Added a sweet romance with the city engineer? I'm sure his second book would have sold as well as his first. But Frank's not here to tell a story. So he's got to trust me to do it. Whether he wanted it that way or not. And I say... The truth is better than fiction. Well, there you have him. The arriving before. A fucking piece of shit again. Oh my god. How mad I am right now. You have to know something. I'm a big zombie fan. I When I first The Rising was introduced to me in the Xbox 360, that's why I preferred had the Xbox 360 over the PlayStation 3 because they made better zombie games and Dead Rising was one of the few that it's kind of like an open world and you was able to do whatever you want whenever you want. But now just taking a look at this how Dead Rising 1, 2, and 3 was it was good games. They, they still are good games at this point. That's why they remastered 1 and 2 and off the record but I really didn't play that one that much but but now seeing this, it just seems like Capcom really don't care about the consumers and about their fan base because seriously, they just say fuck it, let's make this game glitchy, let's make it more complicated than it was, was. we couldn't just left it alone because Dead Rising 3, believe it or not, it was perfect the way it was. It was better, it was an open world game, the combo weapons were very easy to build if you wanted to pick up a combo weapon really quickly except buying points because i mean you have to find like screws or some shit to buy the combo weapon to buy it and i don't mean that you know like microsoft points no just buy it in the game and it's pretty stupid other than that, I mean, the game was alright, but it's not a $60 game, no. This game should be max $40, and that's it. Maybe even lower, because Capcom didn't deliver, you know, on this game. It was glitchy as hell, the graphic is not on point. God, for God's sake, Dead Rising 3's graphics was way better than this piece of shit. They took away one of those, you know, character. they took the voice actor from Frank West. And they gave someone else, he's alright, he's not, you know, how do I say, like, remarkable or anything, but he's, he's alright, I guess. The story just went to hell, like most stories nowadays. And I don't know why they took away co-op co mode, like seriously, co-op mode belongs in a Dead Rising game, it really fucking does. If it worked perfectly in part 3, I don't know why they took that off in part 4. They say they wanted to focus on the story mode, but like I said, the game was glitching and shit. And plus, just think about it. Co-op mode would have been better because you had a partner to help you out, someone you could talk to online. You know, this these are the things that people buy Capcom. They buy these type of things. They like, you know, communicating, working together, strategizing, but I don't even want to bother playing the multiplayer because it just seems boring. At least Dead Rising 2's multiplayer was actually fun and entertaining. This one is a fucking chore to do. A real fucking chore. But like I said, I'm gonna make a review about this. A whole complete review. And I'm gonna compare it to his previous game, Dead Rising 1, 2, and 3. So like I said, hopefully you guys enjoy Dead Rising 4. And let's see what the DLC 
it wants to give us. If it's something reasonable, maybe I'll pick it up. If it's some, some bullshit that I do not agree and I'm not going to support you, Capcom, I'm sorry, I'm not. Because you took away a lot of things and you pissed off basically your fan base. I'll see you guys in the next gameplay. Take care.